Today on the channel, you say you want a revolution? Yeah, you know, we all want to change the world like a young Keldor, Masters of the Universe, revolution. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! here and welcome back to the channel for another Masters Universe Revolution unboxing and review and today on the channel we've got Keldor but for all your Keldor needs and a whole lot more make sure you end up entertainment earth use discount code Kyle save yourself 10% on all in-stock items anything over $79 does ship free got to get a deal out there and of course we're gonna do this review like we do all the other reviews on this very YouTube channel we're gonna take a look at the packaging we're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. So without further ado, let's see what old Keldor is up to. And Keldor, I think it was the 2000 series that first really introduced us to Keldor. Since then, he has been around. Of course, it is Skeletor before he was Skeletor. And he was a big piece of, of course, the revolution, the latest and greatest Netflix series. Hopefully, you've seen that by now. I did enjoy the series for what it is. The last episode was a little rough. I felt the same way about the last series. I felt it was a little rough. But all in all, I still enjoyed my time spent watching both series. Uh, and I know some people hated them, but I was here for it. Some He-Man's better than no He-Man. But it was pretty cool to see good friend of the channel, old Bill. I call him Bill. I don't know about you guys, but William Shatner, of course. Great friend of the channel, Bill Shatner. Great to hear his voice on the show. Always good to hear his voice. Of course, most notably famous for the 70s movie, The Devil's Reign. Oh, we'll never forget William Shatner in that movie. An all-time classic movie. And I think he's done some other things. I heard he was in, was it Star Wars? Or was it Star Trek? Ah, whatever. We don't know what he was into. But he might be known for a few things, like Rescue 911 as well. But now, forever linked to the He-Man universe. And that voice, you can't mistake it in the show, that is for sure. So, of course, let's dive in and see what's going on here. And we'll do a couple of comparisons later on in this video as well. But Keldor, looking only like a Keldor could look if he was in the Revolution series. An interesting one for sure. An interesting turn of events. I'll try to stay away from spoilers uh, in the series with him and his entrance into the series. Find out how that all began. Masterverse at the top, of course. 30 points articulation. Mattel. There's the show name. Glamour shot. Window box. Very small. So if you need old Bill Shatner to sign in there, you better get a small paint pen. Uh, on the side, we got King Randor and uh, his wife Marlena uh, looking very good on the side, looking nice. And of course, they all kind of interact. And there's old motherboard back there. And some glamour shots looking good, very, looking very kingly over here on the side as well. And then on the back, we got the cross cell. Of course, we unboxed every single one of those on the channel down low. Make sure you check that out. Got a little blurbage there, glamour shots. See what it says about old King Keldor, Skeletor in disguise. It says it on the back of the package. Randor's half-brother from the Isle of Anwatgar. Beautiful this time of year. Some of the best weather you'd ever see. Anwatgar, definitely highly recommended for your next spring uh, vacation. Keldor returns to Eternos to assume the throne. And you know what happens when you assume. You guys know what happens. So we did have that going on there. But let's pull him out of the package. Let's finally see what all the fuss is about here. I think this whole thing should come out. There we go. There it is. See you later. Goodbye. And then it has the little instructions on the side. Nothing too real good over here. Head's removable. He can cape out. He can pull a young Lando Calrissian to do some quick cape moves if he needs to. See you later. Goodbye. All right, old Keldor here. And, oh, we got tape on the cape and we got twist ties. It's a McFarlane dream over here, Todd. Uh, looking good here with Keldor. Looking nice. The two heads going on. But, yes, we got tape on the cape. You know how I feel about that. You never go full tape on the cape. You never see it with Lando, and there's good reason. Uh, it's dangerous for these capes. It's dangerous. It pulls the fabric off. Oh, uh, what do you do? But, you know, it's first world problems, really, at the end of the day. There's bigger problems out there than uh, tape on a cape. I will say that. I will freely admit that right here on the channel. And you got to be careful. First, you don't want to cut your fingers off. Secondly, you don't want to cut the cloth cape. That would be a bad day at the office. But we are locked in at the hands. We're locked in at the waist. We're locked in all over the place. They don't want Keldor going anywhere. They know what he's up to, and it's no good. Truly, truly no good. There it is. There it is. See you later. Put a little spin on it, putting the twist ties into a pile, and let's get down to business. And like I said earlier, possibly, possibly, quite possibly, 
monkey business. That's what we could be dealing with right here. We're going to find out real quick, but this cape is an absolute mess right now, so we'll see if I can figure that out. But we do get a head. I guess that's it in the accessory department, or did I throw his extra hands? I felt like there was extra hands. If there were, they were hands, and we'll, we'll show them. Uh, but we got Keldor here, and it's the tale of two Keldors. Very stoic face right out of the package here. He's got to look uh, like, you know, he's just here. He's just uh, soaking it all in. He's drinking it in, man, like a young Chris Jericho. Uh, we just got that white skunk-like hair going on on the sides and up the middle, and then in the middle of his goatee. And then, of course, he's got the uh, little uh, paintbrush uh, uh, mustache up there as well. He looks like he's got a little painter's goatee. Is this guy an artist at the end of the day? Weaving a canvas of gold? Who knows what he's up to? Uh, but looking good in the head sculpt. Looking like a deranged smurf in some ways as well. Got those pointy ears. Second head over here looking good. Very similar, but a little bit of a smirk there because... He has a crown on because he's a king now. So you want him regular, you want him king, choose your own Keldor adventure at the end of the day. We saw the whole uh, gamut be ran on the show, as we do know. But looking pretty good here. Good eyes on Keldor, too. They did a really good job in these eyes. Black eyebrows as well. Good head sculpts. Both head sculpts are uh, very, very nice here. Now we dive into the figure itself. First thing I noticed, he's got the Eternals Championship belt. I think this might be the Intercontinental title or TV title. I'm not sure. Somebody uh, chime in with the answer to that one. Not totally sure. But it is matching the gold up there on his chest plate and the wrist bracer over here on the side. Of course, repping that blue skin here on there with two fists of fury. He's ready to throw down if somebody gets in his way. Big old skirt like they would have back in the day as well. He's got a skirt going on. Black and maroon attack. Black tights underneath. And then, of course, Attorney's favorite wrapped boots with a little fur at the top for those cold winter days. Looking very nice there. Uh, he does got the cape, though. That is an, a game changer here. It's a, a shawl cape is what it is. Got the real fur up here. I believe fur of a wampa, which he had imported, if I'm not mistaken. Once again, please, someone fact check that. But I'm pretty sure that's authentic wampa hair. I can tell. I'm usually really good at those things. And then, of course, you do get the cape back here. You go full cape. You go soft good cape. You know you're signing up for me with a good day. Uh, nice kind of bluish purple cape here. Soft goods looking very nice. Uh, very good. Very regal. Very uh, kingly is what we got going on here. Now his arms do go around. Uh, the cape is kind of wrapped in there around his arms. So you got to be a little careful. Mine is kind of really wrapped in pretty good. But the arms will go around. There is no bicep cut, but you do get a side to side at the elbow. Single jointed elbows. Hands back and forth side to side. Hands removable. Head removable as well as we know. Just kind of a mess there in the arm department. I'm going to have to play with that a little bit to get this cape just the way we want it. Hula hoop at the top, traditional waist as well. Big old Keldor splits, but you're pretty much blocked by that big skirt. You do get double jointed pinless knees. We're here for that. You do get a boot cut. You do get ankles back and forth, up and down. Uh, and then, of course, does he fit on a ringside collectible? Mattel stand. Get the Mattel stand. Use discount code Kyle. Save yourself 10%. There it is. Looking good in the stand department. But a good looking Keldor. Of course, like I said, Keldor been around. There we go. I pulled it up. Now he's looking better. Looking a little bit more regal right there. But a very, very good looking figure right here. Not sure if everybody's clamoring for a Keldor. Not sure if everybody really wants this figure. But I do like the looks of this figure. I like how he represents. Love the voice of Bill Shatner in this role. It's just one of those things, though. You hear the voice and it kind of takes you out of the moment of the show because that voice is so identifiable. Uh, but it's still pretty cool there. And, of course, they're looking for star power in a show like this. And it worked with old Keldor. But we got Keldor right here, of course. Skeletor from the series. We know how uh, this kind of all went to be. I'll let you watch the series for all the gory details there. But the yin and yang, of course. Mark Hamill, the voice actor of, of course, uh, Skeletor. And then you got He-Man as well. Just grabbed a He-Man there just to have. So we got the crew right here. The Battle for Eternia. It begins again in the Revolution series on Netflix. Streaming right now, if that is your thing. But what say you guys? How'd you feel about the Revolution series? Did you like it more? That seems to be the consensus for most people I talk to. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And let me know your thoughts on Keldor. Are you here for that at the end of the day? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And of course, you made it this far. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell. We got videos every single day and then some. We got even more content for you, of course, over on the Patreon. Patreon, the best way to support this very YouTube channel and all the content it does bring. You can also support the channel at pressandtees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. Don't forget social media. Sir Paul64 on the X, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads and on Instagram. So for Keldor, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.